have the 12 hour French toast, poached eggs, and corned beef. Despite our effort and aviation, it's with every heart that we share that this guest has passed. I'd like to ask you. For New group for St. Jude t shirts. It turned out to be a swan. We have been delivered a new debarkation morning schedule because Penny Marisco. It looks wonderful, y'all. Oh, yes. Good morning. We're on the way back to Galveston, but we had to turn around last night for the illness of a passenger or an injury. They were requesting blood donors if anyone on board was O negative, but we didn't make it back to Cancun. Sometime in the middle of the night, we turned around again and we headed north. I hope that's not a terrible sign, but we don't know. This morning at 9 a.m., they're supposed to make an announcement of how long this is going to delay us back into Galveston. So we're standing by to hear that. And I think we're gonna go get some breakfast. So today we asked for a table with a little more space. Yesterday we were seated literally six inches from another couple. So they did give us one. We will check, I will check what our table was going to be. It was going to be 404 until I requested a change. Now we're at 529. My wife has the French toast and the parfait. I have the 12 hour French toast, poached eggs, and corned beef. Look, I got like five of these this time. This is uh, Stefano, your captain, speaking from the commanding bridge. Following last night's announcement for the deviation, I want to give you an update on our arrival time. I have secured pilots for 7 a.m. in the morning, which means you'll be ready to leave the ship at approximately 9 30 a.m. Despite our effort and aviation, it's with every heart that we share that this guest has passed. I'd like to ask you for your sympathy and condolences for our guests and their family, as well as your understanding in the delays or effort caused by the cause in the deportation tomorrow. I thank you for understanding, and uh, I'll see you around today. Thank you so much. The captain has secured a pilot for 7 a.m., which means we'll be alongside around 9, hopefully get debarkation start at approximately at 9.30. Again, despite our best efforts in deviation, we do ask you guys to a sympathy as we all have to share with you that this guest has passed. Our condolences to their family and to them, and we hope you guys have your understanding with you today. As all the delays that were caused do to the Now, if you have any more about, uh, questions or need any information, guest services is over there on deck eight, but we will also be having a debarkation presentation at 11 o'clock to keep you all updated with our debarkation operation plan for tomorrow morning. Thank you all so much. We ask you to keep their family in your thoughts and prayers. Again, we did talk about that debarkation delay that's going to be happening tomorrow morning. And if you guys want to get some more information, there will be updated flyers that are going to be going out about a little bit later on once we get that documentation ironed out and printed. We're going to be getting that to you guys so you also know what is going on. But the best place to get that information is to come on down to the 11 o'clock debark talk that's going to be happening inside the Jubilee Theater. Doors are already open as we are going to be going over the Wave Live Morning Show, which is also going to loop you guys in with what all is going on out and about around the ship today. And in between there, I've got my Q&A so you guys can ask those questions and get some fun answers for what's going on here living on board life on a cruise ship. Additionally, we've got all of our fun shops getting ready to open up. We've also got your bingo card sales happening this morning. Try and win you up to $5,000. It's your last day for a lot of the fun stuff here on board, so make sure you guys are checking out your Carnival Hub app for what's going on. And if you are trying to book your digital debarkation, I just wanted to give you an update as well. It is not operating right now just because we are updating the timings to our new arrival time. Thank you guys so much for your attention. We'll see you guys all inside the morning show at the Jubilee Theater right now for some more fun on our last day at sea. 
Today we have a heart. Very nice. The card says you need to be out by 8.30. <laughs> so I have done, I think, all I can do as far as our luggage tags. Guest services assures me they will arrive tonight. The problem is I've heard a lot of people on the last few cruises complaining that they did the digital check-in, did not get luggage tags, and that Carnival told them that they must carry their own luggage off. I do not want to carry my own luggage off, but I'll keep you posted. If that's the way it happens, it's not a complete tragedy. We can live with it, but I'm going to be very upset if I did everything I could to get my luggage tags and still did not get my luggage tags. Priority cruisers got their luggage tags yesterday, some even the day before they claim. So that's really weird, but nothing to do but wait. Thank you. 
Today we're trying the Shack Attack. And I still stand by, it's good, but it's not way better than a uh, Chick-fil-A sandwich. It's good though. What do we get for the ice carving? Is it Indian head? Is it eagle? If it's Indian killing an eagle, I'll be real impressed. When he's not cooking or when he's not gone, you want to know what he does in his face? That's right, let's get those said he is the crew dentist. A man with common skills like this, you can have a smile like a million dollars. Alright, back to the guest again. Anybody, somebody, put your hands up, my lady. It running today. I think maybe it's not running due to the wind. Bolt is $15. I rode it. It was very impressive. But I don't know if as quick as it runs, it's worth $15. Look at this. Nobody up here. Beautiful area. Right under the funnel. That's true. If this is if Bolt were running, I wouldn't want to be sitting here. It rocks our room, and we're not oh, under it. We're on deck 15 farther aft, and it just rocks our room every time it runs. Waterworks! Faster. Now this has to be fun for the team. Look at that. That's really cool. Look at those slides. The splash zone. Wow. And we got Puck Puck Golf back here. What a gorgeous Puck Puck Golf area. Look at that view. People say if you want to play this, you might want to bring your own balls, though. They use some kind of ball ball. People are not fans of. Let's check it out. Oh, it's very light. That's the problem. It's certainly hard enough. But it's really light. It's almost like a ping pong ball. It'd be hard to play in the wind like that, especially if you're used to playing with a regular golf ball. That's not going to show or hit like you expect it to. It seems like if you're a professional golfer, you wouldn't Yeah, but if you really are into putt putt, you're going to want it to be the right size and weight. Look at that. That's where you get on to bolt right up there. You must have the closed toed shoes, by the way. No sandals on bolt. Must be between four foot four inches and six foot five. Under three hundred pounds. What? Ropes 
course, you can dangle out over deck 17. Not out over the water, though. The Warehouse Arcade on 17. Just half of the Lido. Oh, this is nice. We played this. It was fun. This is where Circle C is. Oh, Guy's Burgers. On deck 17, Guy's Burgers. Very large Guy's Burgers, but it's a very large ship. Oh, your burgers. Burgers is Club 02. Lots of seating here and over here with a view. Look at all the sauces. We have been delivered a new debarkation morning schedule because unfortunately someone passed away on our ship last night and they tried to turn around and make it to Cancun. But it sounds like they died on the way and we are back in route to Galveston. But instead of an 8 a.m. Well, actually, let me compare the two. Hold on just a moment. This is your normal debarkation on a normal cruise. Arrival at 7. Debarkation starts at 8. Got to be out of your stateroom at 8.30. Breakfast options. Due to our late arrival, we will arrive at 9. 9.30 is when it will start. Stateroom checkout by 10. And breakfast will be available in these locations until 11, 10, 11, and 10. Okay, we still don't have luggage tags, but I'm assured by guest services that I will get them. Almost every surface except the closet is magnetic. So let's check. This guy is certainly magnetic. Ooh. The door? Absolutely. Not as strong as the walls. The walls are stronger. This is a 130 pound magnet, by the way. This. This. The ceiling. Absolutely. The back wall. Yep. And the other wall. Wow. The side walls are much more magnetic than the uh, door. But, ooh, I think that's just again another. Uh, I think it's just painted metal. Ooh, it is. So it is magnetic, but it's not very strong because this is something in front of the wall. This, that would not hold much. Hmm. Oh, and that's not magnetic at all. This is wood. Really not a fan of this digital debark process so far. Why, you ask? Let me tell you. So it is time for dinner. And we're going to dinner now. The bags have to be out between 8 and 10 tonight. And we don't have tags yet. It is the final sea day. And they need to be out in three hours. And I don't have any tags to put them out. 
I have spoken to guest services several times. They assure me they will be here tonight. So we'll see. I'll let you know how it works out. every night as a line, but then devolves into a mob. Our table tonight for our anniversary is 668. Look at that view. <laughs> what a beautiful view. They had a little bit of sway in there for a moment. Penny Morisco, enchiladas, those look delicious. This is Marin, your maitre d' speaking for the last time for this cruise. Our bags are packed, we're ready to go. Looks wonderful, y'all. Great. Tonight, she has just ordered some chocolate ice cream. They brought some chocolate ice cream. Okay, it is 7.05, but I have the luggage tags. That stressor is removed. Ooh, check it out. Carnival Kitchen running today. What they making? A beer. They made beer. Dr. Inks. Wait, wait. It's drinks. It's also drinks. <laughs> Center stage where they are playing Let's Get the Last of Your Money. Still a line at Java Blue. Is there always a line at Java Blue?
celestial strings was wonderful. It's starting to get a little rough. I love a rough sea evening. Listen to this. Oh, yes. That's an oil rig. Gives of delight, drawn after you. is about it for our evening we watched celestial strings for the second time and if you'd go to see that show try to sit in the middle the visuals were so much more impressive if you try to sit in the, if you sit in the middle of the stage it was really nice and it is blowing a gale outside and gotta be about I'd say about 50 degrees now let's see what it's like on our balcony horse nine on the Beaufort yep our luggage has already been taken. We're wearing what we're going to get off in. And we have a late debark tomorrow. <laughs> it really is a seven Beaufort. Let me show you where we are. <laughs> Come on, show me where we are. Damn it. It's two polar bears fighting a snowstorm. It do that. Hey, but it does that. Come on, one more screen. There we are. Most of the way back. Most of the way back. Whoops. Okay, let's see what it's like outside. I'm gonna take my hat off. I want to keep it. Listen. Tomorrow, everybody's least favorite day. Debarkation. Time to go home. See if we can get a flight.